All right, guys, what's going on? Good morning. Hope your day's going good so far. It is about seven o'clock in the morning here today, and I've got some big news. We are finally gonna be putting in a pond on my property now. Uh, I've got about six acres here in Alabama, and the backside is just all wooded. And I finally found a guy that can dig the pond for me. So he's gonna be here at, I think, about eight o'clock in the morning. So we got about an hour to get everything set up. I'm gonna set up some GoPros. I've got a time-lapse GoPro set up really high in a tree. I'm gonna try to get some good footage of this. I wanna show you guys the before real quick. This is the pond as of right now. It's got a huge hole. Maybe you can see how deep this is. Cause I had a guy out here a couple of years ago. See, this is just a, that's probably a, I don't know, 12, 13 foot hole. And this is the side that holds water. It's a, probably about three or four foot deep on the other side, but that's all clay. That water has been there since I dug this pond with a front end loader on a tractor three years ago. So it's, it won't hold any water up on this end, which kind of sucks because I, I was really hoping to get this pond dug and put me a little pier down here. We're gonna put a rope swing, maybe a zip line, a little fountain to keep the, the water nice and clean down here. So I'm hoping when he gets here today, we can, get a good game plan going and get this pond dug. But yeah, this is gonna be an adventure. I don't know how long it's gonna take him to get this pond dug, but I'm very excited to get this pond put in the property. It can help me do a lot of videos where I'm testing baits or testing kayaks, working on boat trailers, cause I plan on having a ramp down here. So when I wanna work on a boat trailer, I can just come stick the boat in the water down here and then just drag the trailer back up the hill to the shop and work on it without having to try to figure out how to work on a trailer while there's a boat sitting on top of it. So, so y'all stick around. This is going to be pretty fun. This boy didn't waste no time at all. I don't know if y'all can hear me. He's running this thing, but this thing is massive. He's already got up like two or three stumps. Look at this behind me. It is huge. He's ripping these stumps out of the ground like they're toothpicks stuck in the sand. It blows my mind how much you can get done with a piece of equipment like this. Hopefully we'll have a pond out here before long. The good news is, if you can hear me right now, the good news is He's found clay just about everywhere he's dug so far. Uh, there are little spots of chert here and there, but I think we're gonna have enough clay when we're done 
to completely line the bottom of this pond. So maybe we won't have to ship any bentonite or anything like that in. We can just dig the pond, seal it with the clay that we have here, and I can start working on putting a dock in and a boat ramp and stuff like that. You know, I mean, I say a boat ramp. I'm gonna put a little ramp in here so we can get the kayaks in and out. I think it's gonna be cool. But I, I'm gonna let him do his, do his thing. He looks like he knows what he's doing too. He's making light work of this. All right guys, so he just left and the pond is officially done. There's a whole lot of tractor work left to do on the dam. I've actually got the tractor, I don't know if you can see it behind me back here, but I've got it up on the dam. Uh, I'm kind of working the dam all the way around the top to get it flat and nice and level, but he's officially done digging. And I, don't, I hope that you can see how big this actually is on camera. This is going to be huge. It's about 20 foot deep back here in the corner. I'm hoping to put some zip lines in. We're gonna put a dock, a boat ramp, a swing. We're gonna have a lot of fun out here. And we dug, uh, I don't know if you've seen him when we put the GoPro on the bucket, but we decided to find a spot in the bottom of the dam and he took the excavator and just dug straight down as, as deep as he could get his arm to go because we were looking for water and we hit water. I don't know if it's a spring or if it's just the water table that we got into but the hole is filling up and I'm kind of worried that there's a big hole down here. I want it to hurry and fill up with water. So I'd hate for a deer to get stuck in the hole down here or one of my dogs, which I'm in the pond now. I don't know if you can tell I'm walking down what's going to be the boat ramp. And let me see if I can turn the camera around here and show you guys what it's going to look like. Let's see if I can get a good shot here. The lighting is not helping, but so we're in the pond. And I'm about, I don't know, 10 foot deep at the bottom of the boat ramp. It's going to curve all the way around through here. And then our deepest spot is going to be right over here. Besides the hole that we dug. Uh, uh, Y'all back up. I don't want one of my dogs to fall down in there. Jesse, back up. But look at this hole, guys. <laughs> and there's the, the spring water at the bottom. It's slowly filling up right now. It's about a foot deep and it's, it's took about two hours to get a foot deep. So I'm not confident that this is going to actually fill up. 
itself, you know, and you, it's not going to fill the pond up because it's just a really slow seepage. I mean, when it was really low, you could see the stream going down, but it's filling up. And this hole, so I'm standing in the bottom of the bed. I'm, a, I'm actually on the water at the bottom of the pond. I'm on the, the, the bed of the pond, I guess you'd say. And this hole is another, I think it was 19 foot deep from the base of the bottom. So this hole is going to be I mean, we're another 15 foot deep right here. So it, that is gonna be a deep hole in the bottom of the pond. I, we were gonna fill it back in, but I figured he hit water. We're just gonna leave it open. So when the pond does fill up, I'm gonna have a super deep hole right here in the middle of it. So I don't know. Now I'm just gonna do a lot of praying for rain and hopefully not in the next couple of days. Cause I, I gotta get the tractor in here and we're gonna get a box blade and just kind of make the boat ramp as solid as we can. This is clay, so it packs really tight. I think it'll hold water really well. We just got to get some rain in. If it doesn't fill up with rainwater, my next option is I'm going to have a well dug and just put a pump back here on the well and just have it constantly feed, you know, maybe solar panel or something like that to pump the water into the pond and fill the pond up. But I'm hoping by the end of this summer, I've got a pond back here in the backyard and not just a humongous hole, but it's huge and it's officially done. We just got a lot of tractor work and box blade work to get everything leveled out and looking good hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's a little bit different than what i usually upload but i really wanted to record having the pond put in and the prog the progress of the pond so i will be updating you guys in the future as the water rises and if i've got to put in a well and stuff like that I'm, i'll make sure to put it on the channel here for you guys so if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're new hit the subscribe button and i'll catch you guys next week thursday at two o'clock peace